Hello and happy Earth Day. Today is April 22nd, 2020. And so that means that it is Earth Day today, a day that we have one day a year to celebrate how amazing our Earth is or our planet is, our world. Okay, so that is why I thought it was a good idea to sit outside for this video so that I can listen to the wind and I can see the beautiful clouds and listen to my silly dog Lincoln bark and see the beautiful trees. I am going to share my screen with you and teach you guys a little bit about Earth Day and give you guys maybe some ideas about how you can also help the earth. So, as you can see here, this is the 50th Earth Day that we have had. So, 50 years, but that means that we have been celebrating Earth Day in April since 1970. That is awesome and that is a long time. So the question that I want us to think about and to answer today is what can we do to take care of the earth? Okay, how can we, just like this boy is doing, how can we love the earth? All right, so why is it important to love the earth? There are many reasons. One is because if we don't, our earth is going to look like this, and that is gross. What is this called? Trash, right? So what happens to all the trash in the world? When you throw something away, where, where does the trash go? Well, it goes to a place that is called a landfill. So if you look closely here, you can see a lot of trash. I bet that it stinks and that it is not pretty at a landfill. Sometimes we need to put some things in the trash, but we also want to think, are there other things we can do than put more trash in a landfill? Hmm. And just so you know, we make a lot of trash in the United States. In fact, we make around five pounds of trash per day. Each person makes five pounds of trash. And you may wonder, how much is five pounds? Well, five pounds, if you know my dog Lincoln, is about this big, okay? So we make about this much, um, pounds of trash every day and so that means 365 days a year and many many years that's a lot of trash so we want to try to find ways to what we call in English reduce reuse and recycle so these might be new words for you so I am going to teach you what each of these words mean and give you ideas about how you can also help the earth. First, we're going to talk about reduce. Reduce means to use less of something. So remember, less is not as much, okay? So what are some ways that we can use less of the things that we already have? Here are some ideas, and maybe you have some ideas too. You can use the front and the back of your paper when you are writing instead of just throwing it away. You can share a napkin with your brother or sister so you can take it and tear it, right? Tear it in half and say, you use this, I'll use this so that you use less of a napkin. You can use only one paper towel to dry your hands in the bathroom. You can take short showers, so you can 
try to be quick <laughs> in the shower so you use less water. You can turn off lights when you leave a room so that you do not use electricity that you do not need. And another idea is to use a reusable water bottle instead of a plastic bottle. So I'm gonna give you guys some ideas now from my house of ways that I try to reduce and can do a better job reducing. So here is my, if you, um, if I am your teacher, you know that you see my water bottle at school every day. And so instead of using a plastic bottle and throwing it away, I reuse this bottle. So I reduce the amount of plastic that I use. Something else that I can do is like I said, this piece of paper, look, there's all this space here. Instead of getting a new piece of paper, I can use this to write on so that I am using less paper. I can reduce <laughs> the amount of toilet paper that I use by, uh, well, not using as much toilet paper, so maybe just a couple of squares instead of a lot of squares. Those are some ideas that I have uh, in ways that I can reduce the amount of, oh, let's see if I can go back to this. Hmm. Give me just a second. Okay, technology, love it. All right, so those are some ways that we can reduce. What are some ways, maybe you can share with me in a comment on YouTube or you can share with me on our Facebook chat, what are some ways that you can reduce at your house? Use less. All right, next we have reuse. Reuse means to use it again or let someone else use it again. So maybe for you, you do not use it anymore or maybe it does not fit or maybe you are too old for it. So you can give it to someone else that can use it instead of throwing it away. So we have a phrase in English that is one person's trash is another one's treasure. You think, huh, maybe something that I do not use, somebody else can. So let's get some examples of ways that we can reuse things. You can give clothes away, meaning give clothes to someone that you do not need anymore. We can use the other side of your paper. So like I was talking about, that is reducing the amount of paper we use and it is reusing. So we're reducing and reusing. And you can reuse a plastic water bottle. So if you have a water bottle that is plastic, then use it again. You can reuse plastic bags from the store. So if you have a plastic bag, do not throw it away. Use it for something else. And you can also find fun, creative ways to reuse your things. Like this one right here, where they take a shirt and they make it into a bag. So if you have Miss Karen, she could help you learn how to reuse your shirt for that. Or if you see here, they used boots to plant flowers. I think that's a very cute idea. Okay, so now I am going to give you guys some examples of how you, or of how I uh, reuse. So let's see here. Like I said, this paper here. Also, excuse me, Lincoln. This is an old shirt that I do not wear anymore. You see, it has a bunch of stains, so I do not want to wear that. 
I also do not want to give this to someone because it is not a nice shirt. So what I use this for is I clean. So I use the spray and I use it to clean instead of just throwing it away. Another way that I reuse is this is a jacket that I do not wear anymore. It does not fit me. And so I'm going to give it to somebody that maybe it does fit and that maybe they would like this jacket. So I do not want it, but maybe somebody else does. This is a bag that I use when I go to the store so that I am reducing the amount of plastic that I use. Also, let me find it here. Oh yeah, this, <laughs> Miss Alicia is too old <laughs> for this. And so I am going to reuse this by giving it to a kid that would think this is fun. This is a, it's called a sprinkler and water comes out of it. Very fun, but I, I think I am too old for this. So I'm going to reuse it by giving it to someone. So those, oh, I have one more idea. This is my oatmeal. When I am finished with my oatmeal, I can recycle it, we will learn, or I could reuse this. What are some ways that I can reuse this? What are some things that I could put in this? If you have some ideas, you can put that in a comment on the YouTube. Okay, let's see. Let's go back to learning about reduce, reuse, and now our third re, our third R is called recycle. Now, at school, you see a a uh, box that looks like this. This is called our recycle bin. And at school, we recycle our paper. But at home, you can recycle more than just paper. So, recycle, it kind of like you give back things um, to people who know how to change it into something new <laughs> that we can use again. So, common things that people recycle are metal. Let's see here. Let me get my, my handy pointer here. Okay. Metal, for example. Also, we can recycle plastic. Okay. So metal is usually this color. Plastic, like plastic water bottles is an example. Okay. So plastic, like that. Okay. Something else that we can recycle is paper. So um, just like at school, we can recycle paper. And then last, something else that is common that we recycle is glass. So those are four things that you can think in your house. Hmm, if I had metal, plastic, paper, or glass, maybe I can recycle it instead of throwing it away. And so let's think of some ways that we can recycle okay so you can put paper into the recycle bin at school that is a great idea you can also use the columbia vouchers for recycle bags to recycle. maybe you say that you do not know about this i can tell you more but if you see here if you get something in the mail that looks like this Okay, that looks like this. These are free bags for you to put metal, plastic, and glass, not paper. Paper is different, a different bag, okay? Metal, plastic, and, and glass, you can put in these blue bags. I will show you the blue bags in a little bit. Okay, and then of course you can save all of your plastic, paper, cardboard, hands and glass. Okay, so let me give you some examples of how I how I 
recycle at home or how I try to recycle. So this is what the blue bags look like. This is where you can put things to plastic, glass, and metal to be recycled. So for example, I just finished my sparkling water from the store. And so I can take this box and I can recycle it. Can I put it in the blue bag? Nope, <laughs> because this is paper, right? Well, it's cardboard. And so I have to put this in a different bag. I can also, I am going to use this when I cook tonight. When I am finished, I can wash out the can and I can put it in the blue bag because it is metal. I just finished my box of spinach. So I can recycle this. Can I put this in the blue bag? Yes, I can, okay. This is glass. When I am finished with my rice vinegar, then I can wash this out and I can put it in my blue bag to be recycled. And then they will take this glass and they will make it into something new. For example, maybe it will become a glass like this. So instead of it going into that ewy gross landfill, we can have something new with the things that we can recycle. So it is a very good idea to recycle when we can. Okay, I just have a couple of more things to teach you or to talk to you about Earth Day. Uh, so let me go back to my slides one more time. And I want you to think. And also, these are questions that I have for my students on Schoology. What are ways that you can reduce? Remember, use less. What, is, what are things that you can use less of? Hmm. What are ways that you can reuse? What are things that you can use again or give to someone else? And what are ways that you can recycle? What are things in your house that you were going to put in the trash, but you say, no, it is metal, plastic, glass, and so I will put that in the blue bag, or it is paper, and I will also recycle that. Think, how can you help the earth? So we all live on this earth, and we want to take care of it and we want it to look nice and pretty and not like a landfill. So we want to do what we can to make or to have our earth continue to be beautiful. Okay, that is all I have for you on this beautiful Earth Day 2020. So from this, I hope that you are able to learn um, a little bit about why it is important to take care of our earth and the things that you can do to be a part of that. And happy Earth Day, April 22nd, 2020. And I will see you all soon.